Beal comprise the backcourt. Kyle Kuzma out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Gafford in at the center position. And for Detroit, Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. Hayes and Cunningham, the backcourt. And it's Stewart in at center. And a couple of teams coming out scorching hot this season, Grant. How far can a hot start carry a team? Well, well, some teams can ride a strong start throughout the whole season. I mean, it's just a huge mental boost for a team, particularly early on. Now here's Dinwiddie. Kuzma outside. Pass to Gafford. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Five to shoot. Kuzma outside. Gets the three ball to go. Good fundamental basketball from Kuz there. He works hard to find those shots and support his team. Here's Cunningham, hounded by Beal. And it's Cunningham missing. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. He's covered by Bay. Here's Denwitty, and the basket is good. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Bay. Pass to Grant. Hayes for three. Sends it home from three-point land. For Washington, they've gone two of three to get this one going. Beal, the pass to Denwitty. Peel with a screen on Hayes. Tough call for his coach. Second foul already. We'll see how much the staff trusts him. Lee, he's checked in for the Pistons. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Dinwiddie outside. Gafford the screen, six to shoot. No good, a bit long that time. Here's Lee. He's covered by Dinwiddie. And here's Bay. 15 in his last outing. Fires the three. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Guys, just so great to see Spencer Dinwiddie back between the lines and competing. Remember, an ACL cost him all but three games last year, and that was coming off a breakout season. Now here's Beal. Last game, he had 34 points. Detroit with a rebound. A second-round pick in 2014. Dinwiddie has certainly exceeded expectations, Doris. Well, no doubt. He's really increased his range. This guy can hit big shots, whether it's coming off the catch or off the bounce. He's able to make plays for others. And this guy has one of the best assist-to-turnover ratios in the league. Here's Lee. Nine points for him in his last game. Dinwiddie with it. Guarded by Stewart. Dinwiddie against Stewart. Dinwiddie passes to Beal. They set the screen with the drive. And then Beal with the dunk. Boy, this guy's so springy from the two-guard position. Just incredible athleticism by Bradley Beal on the drive. Pass to Bay. Now Grant. Back to Bay. Here's the three. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. It's Beal on the wing. Right at the free throw line. And Washington again with the bucket. That's just a great move by Beal. Little shake, little bake right there. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Beal. And again, the Pistons missing. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Here's Caldwell Pope. 
Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Free throws good from Gafford. Detroit has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Detroit calls timeout. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. Well, they're going to face each other a bunch of times this season. Each team wants to make a powerful first impression. And the better they know each other, the more competitive they become. Expect this first one to be extremely spirited with each side trying desperately to send a message early. Let's see how last year's top scores stack up on the 2K leaderboard. Bradley Beal is second. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. And Detroit has possession. Six-point game. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's covered by Bay. Then Woody outside. Just four to shoot. Tries again. And finished off by Gafford as he lays it in. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Pass to Graham. Here's Lee. He's covered by Dinwiddie. And here's Bay. Missed inside. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Back to Gafford. Here's Kuzma. Gafford with a screen on Bay. Here's Kuzma. The rebound by Stewart. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Pass to Cunningham. Grant with a screen on Beal. Up top, Grant. The three is up. And he can't get that one. Now the Wizards take it the other way. Dinwiddie finds Beal. Dinwiddie outside. 
Shoots over Stewart. Dinwiddie, no good. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Lee on the wing. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Here's Stewart. Drops in the layup for two. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Beal outside for three. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Boy, his shot looks deadly right now. Already he's hit three of four to start. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Out of bounds. Pistons ball as Detroit keeps possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Wizards on D. They lead by seven. Jackson gets the bucket. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Here's Holiday. Here's Harold. Rebounded by Lyles. <laughs> the way they've gotten at the rebounds has been impressive. Here's Lee. He's covered by Holiday. To the paint. Kicks it out to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Beal. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The officials were two. right on top of that one. First free throw is good. So both teams changing it up here. So he picks up just one from the line that time. What I love about Denny Avdia is that there has never been a question about his confidence from day one. Came into the NBA with swagger. He knows he had a place in this league. The Pistons making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. Wizards on D. Six-point game. Back to Lyles. Clock at six. Grant, left side. Launches it. And the three-pointer goes. Grant's got five. Well, when it comes to obvious mindset after he was drafted, that kind of attitude is crucial for a young player, right? It is, because someone who's not come up through the collegiate system, he's not a known factor entering the league. Avdia didn't have an outsider's mentality, though. He was on a mission to prove he belonged, and boy, it didn't take long. And that one's good. Montrez Harrell starting to show a little face-up game. Gets to the mid-range. Pass to Lyles. Grant with it. Here's Lyles. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The Pistons need to get one up quick. That's good from Grant. On the assist by Jackson. Washington has gone two for two from deep to start this one. Now here's Holiday. Bertans for three. And the Wizards with another three. Now, this is what Davis Bertans does best, right? The ability to consistently knock down range shots. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Wizards.
Here's Neto, defended by Jackson. Pass to Holiday. Just five on the clock. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Avdia from outside, rebounded by Lyle. The Pistons have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Grant outside. Unloads from 13. The rebound by the Wizards. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Harrell, a screen on Jackson. Shoots from 12. And Washington again with the bucket. A minute 29 left to play in the first quarter. Detroit has gone 3 of 6 shooting from beyond the arc. Jackson, the pass to Graham. Back to Jackson. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Willing passes. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Here's Holiday. And it's blocked. And as it goes out of bounds, Washington able to keep possession. Stewart, he's checked in for the Pistons. One oh three left in the first quarter here. Bertans with a screen on Jackson. Here's Holiday. The shot, no good. The Pistons go the other way with it. Jackson outside. Back to Grant. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Bertans with a screen on Jackson. Here's Neto, defended by Jackson. Pass to Avdia. Shot clock at six. From the wing. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Jackson, the pass to Jackson. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. Now Graham. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his third assist of the night. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. It's the Wizards leading by one. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And what do you think about how the Wizards are doing here? Well, they came out with a physical presence and made rebounding a priority. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second chance opportunities. Washington has gone three of four from distance in this game. Hayes and Cunningham, the backcourt. Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. And it's Stewart in at the five spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Now here's Beal. He has seven. No luck on that one. Down low. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. When you finish like that, you deserve to brag. <laughs> Impressive. No question. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Now here's Kuzma. 14 points his last outing. Clock at six. Back to Harold. Some solid defense from Stewart. The Pistons leading. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Here's Cunningham, hounded by Beal. Pass to Cunningham. Now here's Grant. The three is up. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Beal outside. Here's Denwitty. Beal with a screen on Hayes. 
Dinwiddie outside. Yeah, that one's good. And the Wizards lead by one. And for players these days, a lack of shooting can be a big hindrance. Grant, would you be more concerned by struggles from the perimeter or the free throw line? I'd be more concerned with struggles at the free throw line. I mean, if you struggle there, you can become very, very tentative out there on the court. And opponents can foul to force your hand. Now here's Dinwiddie. And Harrell throws it down. All too easy for Montrez Harrell. That's the result of his activity and pursuing opportunities. Beautifully done. Hayes, the pass to Stewart. Now here's Bay. Let's a three fly. Connects from downtown. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Deal outside. Fires the three. Knocks down the long J. Beal's got 10 points. No one better to answer with the three ball than Mr. Bradley Beal. Pass to Bay. Grant outside. The three. And the Pistons. Another three. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. Dinwiddie against Hayes. Dinwiddie passes to Beal. Yes. And a nice assist from Dinwiddie. He's got 13. All game long, he's been getting to his spots. And the defense has yet to adjust. Grant, the pass to Hayes. Grant with a screen on Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie against Hayes. Pass to Bay. This one for three. It's hauled in by Beal. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Here's Kuzma. And now the Pistons in transition. Here's Stewart. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Stewart's got his second bucket on the night. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Here's Harold. And it's good. Two points. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Hayes finds Stewart. Hayes against Dinwiddie. Now Bay. And the call will be against Kyle Kuzma. That's his first foul. And just wasn't able to set up in time. Stewart. Grant with a screen on Dinwiddie. Outside for Grant. Takes the three. The rebound by the Wizards. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Detroit has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Grant the screen. Over Beal. That's good from Grant. On the assist by Cunningham. Grant's got five points now this quarter. Very good awareness from Grant. Just the ability to catch and shoot. So important to his growth. Here's Kuzma. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's on Isaiah Stewart. Shooting two. one falls for him. He's off on the second. 
the Pistons have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. You look back at the 2014 NBA draft, some of the best players of that class were second round picks, including Jeremy Grant. Becoming a premier two-way wing, Grant was a steal going 39th overall to Philly. Woo. And he's coming here outside, unable to get that one. And Washington the other way now. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. The back of the ball. And they recover it. And Cunningham pulls it down. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Washington has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. In addition to Jeremy Grant, there were a bunch of great selections in that 2014 second round. Tell me about it. I mean, how about all-star Nikola Jokic? Probably the best player in the draft was a second rounder. Throw in Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Powell, amongst the others. I mean, just showing that you can find talent late in drafts. Now here's Hayes. He had nine points in his last time out. Pass to Stewart. Clock at four. Hey, from long range. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Dinwiddie passes to Harold. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Three-pointer, Beal. Yes, and a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got his third assist of the night. Oh, he is feeling it. Three trifectas here in the second quarter. Four already for the game. Here's Cunningham. Bay outside. Right wing. Stewart, the pass to Bay. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got five rebounds in the game. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. So for the Pistons, Lyles comes in for Grant, and it's Lee in for Hayes. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Gafford, he's checked in for Harold. Dinwiddie outside. Gafford the screen. Kuzma with the ball. Guarded by Stewart. Pass to Cunningham. And here's Bay. Shot clock at five. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Here's Beal. To the inside. Gafford up top. Now here's Beal. Gafford the screen. Here's Denwitty. He's got it. Three for seven now. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Here's Cunningham. Last game, he had 28 points. Stewart, a screen on Beal. Here he goes. And that one's good. Cunningham. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Beal outside. Back to Dinwiddie. Three-pointer. And the Wizards with another three. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Tries a 10-footer. And there's another one for the Pistons. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. Beal finds Dinwiddie. Nice move. Here's Gafford. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gafford's got six. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Lyles. To the left wing. Here's Cunningham. Pounded by Beal. 11 feet out. And that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got eight points in the quarter. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Lee. Defended by Kuzma. Oh, no, no, no. 
Dinwiddie left side. Pass to Gafford. Out to Beal. Kuzma outside. Back to Caldwell Pope. Six on the shot clock. Here's Denwitty. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Cunningham. Hounded by Beal. Pass to Lyles. Here's Lee. The three ball. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got his sixth rebound on the night. Beal outside. There's the screen by Kuzma. Beal into the lane. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Pass to Stewart. Here's Cunningham. There's the triple. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Gafford the screen. Beal from outside. And again, Washington with a triple. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Inside. Bay with it. Pass to Lyles. Here's Lee. And here's Bay. Takes a three. And the Pistons, another three. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's Beal. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. Bradley Beal has been leading the charge for the Wizards. He's been effective on offense, racking up 21 points so far in this contest. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the Washington Wizards. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench. Providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end, is taking a lot of pressure off their starters. What a luxury to have a second unit that can produce. And now let's talk about the clash of the Titans in that first half. Big time performances on both sides. We've got a heavyweight clash on our hands. This is a star-driven lead. You've got two fierce leaders going head-to-head. -head. Both guys trading blows as each one tries to will his own team to victory. So get some fresh popcorn ready. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second-half action with Brian Anderson and company. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. Washington shooting a solid 53% from the floor. And so in the game for Washington. Dinwiddie and Beal comprise the backcourt. Kentavious Caldwell Pope out there with Kyle Kuzma. And it's Gafford in at center, filling out the middle. Now here's Dinwiddie. 11 points in the game. That won't go. He's 5 for 12 now. The Pistons shooting around 50% in the game so far. Pass to Cunningham. The Pistons rebound. Tries to keep it alive. And so it's Washington with it. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Cunningham's got 13. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. 
Oh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe have to scale back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Kuzma, the pass to Beal. To the middle. Here's Caldwell Pope. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got three assists now in this one. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Now here's Hayes. Here's Cunningham. Six to shoot. Back to Hayes. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. This is about the last guy you want to send to the strike right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Dinwiddie outside. And he drives in. Got it. Dinwiddie's got 13 points. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Dinwiddie against Hayes. Puts up the eight-footer, and Gafford with the block. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Pass to Dinwiddie. Kuzma with a screen on Stewart. Here's Dinwiddie. That went off the back iron and out. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Shooting two. First free throw is good. The Pistons making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. And a change for the Wizards. Harrell's checked in. And so Bay nails both of them. The Wizards with a lead. Dinwiddie outside. Beal with a screen on Hayes. Dinwiddie passes to Harrell. And stolen by Bay. They've got numbers. Jackson against Dinwiddie. Pass to Graham. Now here's Hayes. Grant outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And he lobs it up top. You can see the development in Grant's shot. He is looking to get better and better from that spot. Kuzma with a screen on Hayes. And Dinwiddie. Here we go. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Jeremy Grant. Good. Dinwiddie. Jackson. He's checked in for Bay. And that one.
one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Pistons have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. To the paint. Here's Grant. That shot off the mark. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Part of why they have this lead, they're doing the little things out there. Dinwiddie with a screen on Jackson. Pass to Harrell. On the wing, Kuzma. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And he's really an assertive offensive presence. Kuzma shows no mercy when attacking the defense. And he drops the first. It's both from the stripe. Well, the Pistons shooting at 49% so far in the game. Out to the right wing. Grand in the post. Defended by Kuzma. No good. And it's Washington the other way. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's got five. Inside. And it's Isaiah Stewart with a foul. That's his third foul so far. Hayes against Dinwiddie. Driving to the basket. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Goes back up. And Harrell with a nice bucket inside. Harrell's got eight points. If you do not box out Montrez, Harrell, you are opening yourself up to offensive rebounds. This guy is a force there. Now here's Grant. He's got 19. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Beal finds Dinwiddie. Driving inside. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And there's the call. Detroit with the foul. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Washington. They've made the long-range shot look like a layup at times in this one. Now, the other thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint. Plenty of their points coming from close range. The first one falls. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Both free throws good for Dinwiddie. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Hayes, the pass to Jackson. Grant outside. Shoots from 12. Rebound Washington. Harrell's got his sixth rebound on the night. Dinwiddie against Hayes. Pass to Beal. Jacks up a three. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got four assists now tonight. Now Jackson. Here's Graham. Now Hayes. He's covered by Dinwiddie. There's Jackson with the three. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Caldwell Pope. Lays it up and banks it in. Caldwell Pope's got four points this quarter. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. Picked by Stewart. Here's Jackson. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And here's a look at the top shooters last season. No wasted chances among this group. Fifth is Montrez Harrell. So consistent from the floor. He shot it at a great clip last season.
Shooting two. Shooting two. Shooting two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Lyles, he's checked in for the Pistons. So Washington going with an almost entire new group here. Berton's checked in for Kuzma. Avdia comes in for Caldwell Pope. Holiday's checked in for Bradley Beal. And Neto is subbed in for Dinwiddie. So Jackson nails both of them. And I think we're all giving more attention to health and well-being. Grant, anything the league can do better to protect player health? Well, I know they've tried to cut down on travel and minimize back-to-backs. But at the end of the day, you're playing 41 road games and 41 home games. That's what it is. It's a marathon. It's going to be hard. And it's an endurance race. And so, yeah, maybe reducing regular season games, but I'm not sure that's an option. So sometimes you just got to grind it out and get through it and hope for the best for your ball club. The Pistons making a switch here. Lee's checked in. to Jackson there's the drive and the dunk by Jackson Woo! how about the quickness of Josh Jackson off the drive to the cup that is dynamite to the inside Harold and the shot is good on the assist by Holiday Holiday's got three assists tonight and trust me when the D's slow to react He'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Here's Lee. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Avdia. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Wizards lead by 19. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Now here's Jackson. Here's Grant. And a nice finish on the layup. Grant's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Picked by Bertans. Here's Holiday. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Pass to Jackson. Grant, left side. Down low. Now Jackson. Just five to shoot. From behind the arc. No luck on that one. Here's Avdia. Defended by Jackson. Bertans with a screen on Jackson. Neto attacking and rejected. Well, it's got to be a defensive stalwart. And Jeremy Grant using his size to send it back. Pass to Jackson. It's picked off. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. So, Brian, the NBA tests out different rules in the G League, including shooting one free throw for all the possible points to speed things up. How much did it hurt players' free throw percentages not getting the multiple tries? Well, averages dropped a percentage point or two. Is that a deal breaker or something to consider? Yeah, those are good questions. We'll see, Allie. Thank you. Here's Neto. Outside Holiday. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. 
Here's Lee. Pass to Lyles. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Cunningham's checked in for Jackson. One shot. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. The Wizards have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Here's Holiday. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And the first one at the line is good. Bay, he's checked in for the Pistons. Holiday hits them both. For Detroit, they've gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Here's Lee. He's covered by Bertans. Pass to Graham. Count it. Good. Grant's got 23 points. So Jeremy Grant has figured out how to be opportunistic on the interior. Nicely done there. The drive by Holiday. Yes, it's good. And the Wizards lead by 16. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Pass to Jackson. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. He pushed a little too hard there trying to close the gap. And yes, he paid the price. That's a big miscue. And you hate to see that happen at this point in the game. Gafford, he's checked in for Harrell. Here's Neto. On the take. Here's Avdia. Six on the shot clock. Holiday from long range. And again, Washington with a triple. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Grant with a screen on Holiday. Up top, Grant. Pass to Lee. Grant the screen. And the basket by Lee. Lee's got his second basket on the night. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Here's Avdia, defended by Jackson. Gafford with a screen on Jackson. Holiday with the ball. 4-3. And Bay pulls it down. To the middle. Here's Cunningham. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Cunningham's got four points in the quarter. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Gafford with a screen on Jackson. Avdia attacking. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Grant. We've got 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock at six. Picked by Bertans. Here's Neto. Drills it from deep. Neto's got five points. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And so it's Washington, a sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. We'll be right back with you shortly.
And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Cunningham and Bay, the wing pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Hayes in at the point guard position. That's the group for Detroit right now. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Denwitty with it. Picked up by Grant. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And there's the call on Sadiq Bay. That's his third foul so far. He didn't have his feet planted. Here's Avdia. To the paint. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Three on the clock. Shoots over Grant. And that one's long. And here are the Pistons. They trail by 18. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Pelicans at Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Hayes against Dinwiddie. Pass to Holiday. Watch the pick. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. And here's Hayes. Here's Cunningham. And last season, a new entity. NBA Africa created to handle all business on the continent. Grant, you're an investor. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's so exciting, B.A. First of all, the game of basketball growing all over the world and particularly on the continent in Africa. So I think it's not only great from a financial standpoint, but you're creating opportunities for the league and you're exposing people to Africa to this beautiful game. I think it's a win-win and I'm so excited. And Grant gets it to go. This may be as aggressive as Jeremy Grant gets. He is right now lighting up the opposition. To the inside. The steal. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Who poked away. Stolen by Dinwiddie. Over to the left wing. Over Hayes. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Dinwiddie's got 19. Here's Cunningham. He's covered by Holiday. And here's Grant from the arc. Nails it from three. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Dinwiddie with a screen on Grant. Here's Caldwell Pope. Back to Dinwiddie. Five on the clock. Going inside. And he gets it to go. Dinwiddie's got ten points in just the second half. He's been a piece of the puzzle tonight, but it's a team effort. Everyone's contributing to this lead. Hayes, the pass to Bay. Fades back. That one rolls around and rims out. For Washington, they've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. The Pistons have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. A quick shot there. It's off target. Washington dominating the game. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. They set the pick. Holiday with the ball. Hayes picks him up. From 11 feet away, he can't hit that time. The Pistons go the other way with it. Pass to Bay. Grant with a screen on Gafford. Hey, good. 
And so it's Washington with it. They led the game at one point by 20. Gafford with a screen on Hayes. Avdia from outside. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got five assists in the game. Here's Cunningham. And one of the stories around the game, Doris, NFTs, or non-fungible tokens. You see why they use the abbreviation. But anyway, in essence, people are buying highlights. That's exactly right, BA, combining technology and investing. And there's money to be made. It's just simply not by me because I don't <laughs> understand it. Shooting two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. Washington making some changes. Harrell's checked in for Gafford. Kuzma comes in for Avdia. And it's Bradley Beal in for Holiday. Good on both. Washington has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Denwitty against Hayes. And Denwitty, here we go. Pass to Harrell. Now here's Beal. Some solid defense from Stewart. The Pistons have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Hayes against Denwitty. Here's Bay. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. But then my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Are you serious? That is some power from a point guard. Oh, I love backcourt players with some ups. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. And the Wizards with possession here. It's an 18-point lead. Three-pointer, Beal. Rebounded by the Pistons. And here's Hayes. Pass to Stewart. Here's Cunningham. Back to Stewart. Clock at six. From deep three-point range, Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Caldwell Pope's got six rebounds in the game. Beal, the pass to Kuzma. Denwitty against Hayes. Denwitty gets the bucket. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. Pass to Hayes. Here's Cunningham. Stewart, a screen on Beal. Into the lane. And it's Cunningham missing. For Washington, they've gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Beal, the pass to Dinwiddie. There's a screen. Here's Kuzma. And stolen by Hayes. Bay, right side. To the right side. Pass to Cunningham. Inside. Oh, Grant throws it down. 
Well, this is something Grant does very well. Slams it home when he's got space. Up top, Dinwiddie. And here's Beal. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. Beal's got 27 points. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Back to Hayes. You know, Doris, last season was the Ignite's inaugural run in the G League. You think those elite recruits got the extra seasoning they needed playing on that team? Boy, B.A., what an amazing opportunity for young men. They got to play with real NBA talent. I think it's a system that really could spur the development of young players. Now here's Hayes. He drops it from range. Hayes has got five points now this quarter. Dinwiddie against Hayes. Kuzma drives in. The Pistons clear it. Hayes got six rebounds now in the game. To the middle. Here's Cunningham. Up and in on the layup. Punching it inside. Attacking the heart of that defense. I love it. Harrell, a screen on Hayes. And the ball out of play. The Pistons will have it. The Pistons making a switch here. Lee's checked in. The Pistons have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Pass to Cunningham. Over Beal. And again, it's Detroit converting. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Washington's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Dinwiddie. Harrell the screen. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Isaiah Stewart. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. free throw is good. Hayes is checked in for Lee. And so he hits both. The Pistons have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hayes. Hey, from long range. And the Pistons, another three. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Beal, the pass to Dinwiddie. The Wizards making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. And the Wizards with possession here. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. To the inside. And Harrell with the basket. On the assist by Beal. And the Wizards lead by 15. Montrez Harrell relishes the opportunity to mix it up on the interior. Nice finish. And here's Grant from the arc. Sinks it from distance. Grant's got 33. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Now here's Beal. And stolen by Stewart. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Beal. Pass to Hayes. He takes it in. Here's Stewart. Here's Cunningham. Hounded by Beal. Just five to shoot. And that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got ten points in just the second half. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. 
Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Wizards. And they got a huge boost from their reserves tonight. Yeah, the, the point differential between the two benches was a deciding factor in this game. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Bradley Beal. Boy, whatever was needed, he provided it. He was the jack of all trades. Big bucket on one end, big defensive play on the other. I thought his influence was felt all over the floor. And finished off by Hayes. He makes the D look silly. <laughs> what an incredible move. Man, how about that finish right there? Not too bad. Beal outside. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thank you very much. Spencer, you were especially assertive down the stretch. You never lacked for confidence, did you? Oh, man, you already know. I'm going to shoot that thing. Like, if I'm out there, I don't care. So, I'm going for the game. Like. Let it fly. It matters. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Bradley Beal. Thank <laughs> you.